Now that I'm suited up, it's time to head to the factory floor and get busy galvanizing. I hear the sounds yeah. of work, and I'm drawn to it like a moth to a flame. I know. We're going to get you to work real quick here. An awful lot of the steel you see outside has been galvanized, whether it's shelving or sort of fencing for home use or these full-on electrical poles. It's a process, and it works. Yeah. First step, attach some steel wire to the components being galvanized. How hard can that be? Right You're going to put them in that hole right there. Two of them? Yeah, two yeah. of them. Right in the front. All right. Then you're going to twist them three times. Uh-huh. Real close to the angle. Oh. You make a mistake on the wire. You have to separate it like this. Oh, OK. OK? Doing it the wrong way again. Oh, geez, just one. Yeah. Only one, one at a time. Like most seemingly simple tasks, this one is critical to the job at hand, and harder than it looks. That's OK? How much better? It's not quite. Much harder, actually. Three turns. Yeah. Uh, you do it wrong. I did it wrong? Yes, sir. What am I looking yeah. to do? What's the goal? Oh, wrap it more, maybe? Oh, right there. Right in the corner, right there. I can't decide. Do these guys make it look easy, or do I just make it look hard? Got it. All right. Now, you're making it wrong again. I'm making let it wrong? Me, yeah, let me cut it. Oh. I got you. I got you. Oh, crap. I did the whole thing wrong. Well, the importance is, because we're going to lift it with the crane, and that's going to weigh up around 300 pounds. And if we don't do it like this, it's going to fall into the acids. Not to overstate things, but if one of these three-ton bundles should happen to drop into the acid, the resulting splash would be very bad. Uh, you did it wrong again. No, come on. That's going to be great. Nope. Not good. Huh? Not good. Don't twist it. We have to cut it. You do it wrong again. Twisting wire around and around and around and around. That's what I'm doing. Now? Yeah. It's now. Oh, it's good. Huh? That was good. You got it. Well, it only took me three and a half tons and an hour. Are you sweating? Am I sweating? I know it's. Let's have a look. Oh, man. Yes, I'm sweating. Me, nothing. You're nothing for you. No. It's because you don't have any moisture in your body, Lupe. <laughs> These hooks are what hold the components together during the galvanizing process. And like everything else here, they're heavier than they look. Put it down. If you're just tuning in, no, I do not know what I'm doing. You're going to put this bar between those uh, hooks ah. to hold the uh, angles. OK. Hector and Lupe are wondering how many times it's going to take me to get this right. They're too polite to ask. OK, you're done. So all that, just so the crane can pick it up. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. All right. I feel like I learned a lot. I feel like I got the last one right. Kind of. I feel like you've got a lot of job security. You don't have Thank to worry you. about me. Um, all right. That's acid. No, this no. is caustic, sodium caustic. Sodium hydroxide solution. And yes, is, this, is, is this where it goes first? Uh, sometimes when we see oil in the parts, this is where we put it. This uh, chemical is going to dissolve all the dirt, uh, grease, paint, and other impurities in the steel. So you want this thing as clean as it can be to before put it, on. Yes, sir. it goes into the next one? This is Nelson. Hey, Nelson, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. <laughs> uh, so that's the control? It's all yours, man. All right. Just that's the one. Just explain to him what he needs to do, Hector. Okay. I think it's basically pressing this button. Yes, sir. Is it lined up all right? Yes, sir. It's complicated because there's not a lot of, there's no arrows or anything. And I think they're all configured a little differently. So there's a, a certain amount of trial and error. All right, so this, this yeah. is probably going to take it off. Which one, this guy or this guy? 
This is exactly what happens every time I try to program my DVR. That one. Yeah. You sure? Oh. <laughs> You're going back. And move it that way a little bit. OK. It's the thing the Terminator crawled out of, right? Yeah. <laughs> the pH of this bath is around 4.5. You got it. Meaning somewhere between the acidity of wine and coffee. Just let it sit for 20 minutes. 20 to 35 minutes. But the acid in question is both toxic and sulfuric, so I won't be tasting it anytime soon. The steel angles acid bath is finished, and we are ready for the truly dangerous part of the process. Good thing my apron is strapped on tight. Pick him up. Next step, dunk the parts in a 160-degree preflux bath. The preflux will prevent oxidation from leaving bare spots on the finished product. You grab that one, I grab this one. Zinc melts at 787 degrees, but the zinc bath in this plant is even hotter than that, which makes it one of the most hazardous spots in a plant full of hazardous spots. And this is the zinc melted. Time now to clean the surface of the molten zinc. How does one clean ash out of an 850 degree swimming pool? We're going to show you in a minute. We're going to come to the side, pick him up, I let him drain a little bit, and put it right there. See all the zinc coming out? I do. So what's happening here, it's a shovel like a sieve, and you're scooping into the zinc, and the, the zinc is dripping out at 850 degrees, and the ash stays in, sort of, and you dump the ash. That's, that's, the, that's the idea. I would say that's good enough. Now we're just going to dip your angles. Good enough. That's what we're shooting for. My angles are ready for their zinc bath. This is where metal meets metal. It'll get coated with a layer of zinc 35 to 200 microns thick, roughly the thickness of a human hair. That thin coating will add between 4 and 8% to the standard weight of the item being galvanized and decades of additional life. All right, we're good to go. How long does it stay in? About five minutes or less. You use your hook right here. Yep. You just keep pulling. And the purpose of this is what? Just to get as much zinc on every square millimeter? No, you are taking all the dirt out of it. You see all this dirt? Oh, yeah. It's coming out of the angles. So the more you shake, the cleaner they're going to come out. The last thing I want are dirty angles. Once the items are coated with zinc, they're protected from the effects of corrosion. And we're going to clean them, have them ready for the customer and ship them. Right now, we have to cut them. Got to cut the, the, the I, wires. I'm going to enjoy that. The wires have done their job admirably. Now it's time to get rid of them. This is going to cool for two, three hours. Uh-huh. And then what's going to happen? Somebody's going to pick it up, stack it, ship it. Yes, sir. I think it goes without saying that when you dip something into molten zinc, it's not going to come out perfect. That's where the cleaning comes in. Everything that comes out of that zinc pond is going to have these little icicles on it like this. Yep. So every single piece has to be laid out here and hand grinded by these guys. Yes, sir. This is kind of like at the end of a haircut when the barber sweeps your neck or buzzes off the now noticeable hair growing out of your ears. This, this is the object of my attack right now. All this stuff, it's just covered with these little, what do you call it, little zinc boogers, right? They're everywhere. There are hundreds of thousands of them. And they, they, they've just got to go. They've all got to go. Starting with this one. Next time you walk into a building, you can't see them, but just remember what you saw here today. These supports, they're everywhere. They're galvanized. They've been dipped in zinc, probably by Hector here. And then a team of guys with tools like this smooth them all off. Buildings, electrical poles, everywhere you look. Well, the work might never stop, my friend, but I do. Thank you for your hospitality. Thanks, guys.